Hello, uh, Cincinnati Improvement Homes. My name is Robert Reed and I work with home improvement uh, companies all over the United States. And I uh, came across your website and uh, I was doing some research in the area and I figured you could use some help. So I made this video to give to you. And here are three tips that you can use and put into action yourself to start beating your competition online. I don't want to waste your time or waste my time either. So by the end of this video, if you like what you've heard, and you can tell I have a lot of strategies to help grow your business, if something that you're looking for, give me a call and we can chat. If not, no harm, no foul. Feel free to take the tips that I've given you and use them for yourself. The three tips I'm going to give you today is content, citations, and backlinks. So the first topic is content. That's basically anything that you can see on the front page and um, uh, including the pictures yeah you should have uh, all Texas behind these pictures and um, so why is content important I'm sure you've heard the term content is king you want to make sure that you have enough content on your page to clearly let Google know what it is that you do and what kind of services that you offer also, you want to have enough content to make sure that you're getting keywords and key phrases worked into the content, so that way it reads naturally. You want to be sure you're getting found for those keywords or key phrases that people may be searching for. Because someone is looking for your services, but they may not have heard of your branding. So that's the first tip I've got for you. Just making sure that you have a lot of keyword, unique, rich content on your homepage, and you have at least 1,500. You're, you're, you're pretty close on that. So, um, you do have quite a bit here, but I would recommend or suggest adding more. That way you can be found on more searches. Second tip I'm going to give you today is about citations. So you might be asking yourself, what is a citation? So, by searching your keyword over here, um, Cincinnati... Well, let me put it in here. Cincinnati Construction, or, or we'll do Cincinnati Remodeling. So if you do that keyword, you can see right here, the first thing you come at the top is your uh, advertisement. Uh, these are all the ads that people are running. And um, so there are a lot of people that are paying to be on top of the search results. It's going to be somewhat of a gamble because there's a lot of people out there that choose to specifically not click on ads. Maybe they've had a bad experience with ads in the past. And in 2021, a lot of people are using ad blockers. People have been getting sick of ads over the years, and so they started installing ad blockers so that they may not see these ads. Below this is the map section. And the map section is right there. And uh, there's a lot of people looking for that nowadays through the Google search. It seems to be a more trusted area, and people tend to like what they click on. They use the button to call directly from their cell phone, and this is directly related to a citation. Citation being the name, the address, and the phone number. So essentially, uh, those items listed in various directories all throughout the web, like Yellow Pages or Facebook or Yelp or social or online profiles where businesses can put their business information in there and their services. All it does is just give you another avenue to reach more people. Basically, to be out your competition, you have to go out and get the same type of directory listings that your competition has, but you don't want to stop there. You want to beat out your competition. You want to make sure that you have more directory listings than your competition. So our company, we have the tools that we can use to research your competition and find out what they're using for directories. Now, the third thing I want to go over with you is backlinks and what a backlink is. Essentially another website that's going to link back to your website so people can find you. Now not all backlinks are created equal. So for example a Pizza Hut referring back to you isn't going to do much for your rankings as maybe another uh, a remodeling company in another state. So by making sure that you have relevant backlinks that are relevant to your industry and your services that you offer will help you dominate your competition in the search engine. I used um, Neil's design to kind of give you a comparison 
Uh, they don't quite have 1,500 words either. But um, so uh, basically looking at the page, you can see that they have quite a bit, but not as much. And also I have another tool that I use called AREFs. And AREFs is a tool that uses Google's data to co compile this information so you can compare one website to another website. So on yours, uh, in improvement, uh, you have a 15 out of 100 uh, Google uh, score. And then the domain rating is 25 out of 100. And that's the power that the, the website has. And I think you're getting a lot of power from other uh, locations that you have. You don't have any backlinks and you don't have any. These are the backlinks and these are where they're coming from, the seven uh, referring domains. So you get two from each uh, website link right, It's your backlink. Then you have 58 organic keywords and you're only getting 12 traffic in on uh, the Cincinnati web location. So if you look at another uh, Neil's remodeling, you can see there's a big difference here. They're getting 12,000 backlinks from 4,000 domains and their traffic is 4 1,400 people coming through. So that's how they get traffic and that's how a lot of businesses turn turn uh, good overnight because they they use their website as a tool to bring in more people so um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and just give you an idea of what you can do and if you just uh, uh, work on it a little bit I appreciate you do, taking the time to watch this if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in working with a agency like ourselves that's fine too feel free to take these steps forward and see how they work out and if you can give me some feedback about how the video and the strategies work for you I would really appreciate it and thank you for your time and watching this video have a great day